Hello. Hello, hello. Oh, look, is that a Jill Pop? What is that? Yes. <laughs> so yeah. Good. With her original stars. Is that, yeah, her original stars uh, uh, outfit? Yeah. Yeah, we don't have a Resident Evil 3 version yet. But super cute. I love, I love her original uh, outfit with the cap. It's one of my favorites, actually. Yeah, me too. And by the way, I am kind of Julie style because I always uh, dress blue when I'm talking it. about Jill. Oh, <laughs> I didn't dress blue. I should have. Yeah, you should. <laughs> And there's another Jill here. This one is from Naughty 3. So cute. Look at her. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm really nervous. Hi. <laughs> no, not at all. It's so great to see you. I want to be able to see the comments as they come in, though I can't understand some of them. <laughs> Yeah, well, there's a lot of people from Brazil, but there's also people outside Brazil. So I'm going to uh, translate sometimes what you say, and then uh, people will send questions as well. So, gente, de vez em quando eu vou traduzir e tal, que ela falar, mas primeiro eu tava, né, falando do meu, do meu inglês, que eu tô com vergonha, né, que eu tô nervosa, e também mostrando as minhas dias pra ela, falando que eu tô de Blue Valentine hoje. <laughs> So, how are you these days, these quarantine days? I'm good. I'm drinking lots of tea and I'm staying inside, playing games. How about you? Yeah, I'm working a lot. Good. Well, my life is basically uh, a, a forever val uh, quarantine because uh, I, work, I work at home, so I'm always at home. And there's no difference, but uh, being uh, kind of obligated to be at home, that's, that really sucks because sometimes you want to go out and, yeah. I don't know, have a coffee outside, but you can't. Agreed. Really. Agreed. It's been pretty productive here, except that like all of my work for the most part had to be pushed because we couldn't get on set or mocap stages or whatever else. So... My work got pushed, and now I have a home booth, like a home studio for voiceover work um, to try and do that from home. So the industry is like shifting a lot to try and accommodate everyone being at home. Yeah, I, I am a streamer, and, and uh, I have the YouTube channel, so most of my, my work is basically at home. So uh, there's no, no big difference for me, but some things are really affecting me. Like sometimes I have to uh, go out for, um, to cover something, to, to see some festival or yeah. some convention. And I all... think, um, yeah, we are not getting any conventions right now. And uh, I, I, I think, well, I hope we have Brazil Game Show this year, but, well, I think it's going to be probably postponed. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. And, by the way, you should come to Brazil, to Brazil Game Show. That's freaking amazing. I would, I've never been to Brazil. I would love to visit Brazil. Oh, really? Gente, ela nunca esteve no Brasil. Ela falou, eu falei pra ela vir pro Brasil, pro Brasil Game Show. Eu tava falando pra ela da nossa rotina, né, que foi afetada. Ela falou que tem um estúdio em casa, então pra ela fica... É, é, né, ela teve que fazer muita coisa em casa agora, ela tá tendo que fazer muito trabalho em casa. E falei pra ela vir pro Brasil, porque seria muito legal. And, um, well, I'm going to ask people to send questions. Great. And meanwhile, I have a personal request. But first, let me, let me ask people to, <laughs> to send the questions. Oh, my gosh. I'm so nervous and embarrassed. No, no, <laughs> we're hanging out, man. Okay. Well, you are team tea. I am team coffee. But right now, I don't have any coffee to drink. So, What are you doing? I couldn't, drink, I couldn't drink coffee that late in the day because it's like 8 p.m. for you. I would be up all night if I had coffee at night. <laughs> yeah, I don't have this problem, but well, um, my, my, coffee, my, my coffee device, I, I don't know what 
what's the name? <laughs> Anyways, uh, it broke, so I can't make coffee all the time. Do you make it with the little little K cups, the little cups, or do you make it with like a coffee filter? I have to use the coffee filter right now, so I'm. <sighs> Anyways, <risos> gente, mandem perguntas para a Nicole. Eu estou muito nervosa, como vocês podem perceber, mas vai ficar tudo bem. And now, my personal request. Because uh, when we did that interview for my channel, um, we, I talked to the, to the PR, right? Uh, I think her name was Samara, yeah, I guess. Yeah. And um, I couldn't ask for anything special because I, I didn't feel comfortable for that. So um, What's the request? I would, Let's hear it. okay, I would like to ask you to speak that first uh, that that famous sentence of Jill: "The September twenty eighth daylight, the most has ever taken the city. Somehow, I'm still alive." Okay. I'm game. I did a little bit of it in my stream when I... I saw it. <laughs> I did it a little. All right, let's see. It's uh, September 28th, daylight. Monsters have taken over the city. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Somehow. Yes. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Monsters have taken over the city. Somehow. I'm still alive. Oh, we said it. Jill is my favorite yes, character, so. <laughs> no, I love it. Um, I love it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, there's a question from uh, Redfield's Evil. He's asking if you ever played uh, any game from the franchise besides RE3. <laughs> I have seen a lot of the games. I knew of the games before I went in originally to audition. Um, and I've watched a lot of playthrough of the RE2 remake as well, just because it's kind of in our, our genre and our world with the RE3 mm -hmm. remake. Um, so I've definitely seen a ton of the games. Getting on the controller with some of the original games, I have not done, admittedly. I'm also kind of a scaredy cat. It's just true. And so sometimes when I, uh, I'm asked, like, have you played this horror game or that horror game? I'm like, I'm terrified, but I, I could. Um, so right now I'm having fun playing through RE3 on, on my um, Twitch just to stream it with everyone. Um, and then otherwise, we'll see what's next. I've gotten a lot of requests to play some of the other games. Yes, please. Uh, you should play RE1 remake with Jill. That would be very fun. I realize yeah. I probably should speak in shorter sentences because are you going to translate as I go? Yeah, no problem. I can translate the, the whole context. Wow. That's, no, that's not a problem. You're very Gente, ela falou que ela tá jogando três agora, mas que antes ela não jogava, ela, ela viu muita coisa, né, do, da, do jogo para poder trabalhar também. Ela viu muita coisa, principalmente do dois, né, que, enfim. Mas ela falou que ela tem medo. Né? Então ela tá jogando três e ela falou, vamos ver como é que vai ser depois. Aí eu até falei pra ela que ela pode jogar um, jogar com a Jill, né? Jogar um com a Jill. Ela falou, é, vamos ver, né? Vamos ver, vamos marcar, né? Como diz a velha história. Uh, we have a, an expression here in Brazil. I love to teach uh, expressions from Brazil to all my guests. Give it to me. I'm ready. And... And when someone asks you uh, to, to do something or invite you to go out, and then you say, oh, okay, bora marcar, tipo, uh, let's, let's schedule, let's set up a date or something like that. And then you never go. So when, so, uh, bora marcar. Bora marcar. <laughs> and then you never do it so when someone asks you to to play a game you say yeah what a marca <laughs> no i don't really mean i'll never do it i just have to start with re3 and you know work my way in but i'm so excited honestly that everyone's so passionate and and enthusiastic to you know, see us be involved because the characters mean a lot to me and, and all of the other actors that were involved in bringing them to life. And uh, speaking of non-RE games, do you play any other games? Mm -hmm. I do. I'm actually, hilariously, it's paused right now, but I'm in the middle of Uncharted uh, 4. 
There it is. Oh, that's a great game. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just um, playing Uncharted 4. I just finished Uncharted 3 a couple days ago. So I was playing through the whole series. Um, and then otherwise, I've said this before, I really love Ashley Birch's work in Horizon Zero Dawn. And I've been playing a ton of Animal Crossing. <laughs> <laughs> Gente, ela tava jogando o Uncharted 4 antes de começar a live, que ela falou que tá jogando a série toda, e ela também gosta de Animal Crossing. E ela terminou, ela jogou Horizon Zero Dawn também. Uh, let me see another question here. Um, someone asked, let me see who did it, uh, but someone asked about uh, something that, um, something from Jill, what's your favorite thing uh, about Jill? Uh, sorry about the oh, yeah, yeah. someone. Uh, yeah. Like my favorite traits about Jill, like who she is. Yeah. 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 Um, I mean, I think one of the most enjoyable parts of Jill is some of her levity and humor that really shows up in RE3 and in Resistance. Um, but as far as just qualities that I look up to, the girl is resilient as hell. She always gets back up. And I think sometimes that's what makes someone uh, a hero. <risos> ok. Gente, ela disse que ela gosta muito do, do quanto ela é forte. Ela até falou das mulheres brasileiras que elas são bem fortes. Então, isso é muito legal. Girl power. <risos> <risos> ok. Um, let me see other questions here. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, people are speaking about Animal Crossing. <laughs> Gotta make those bells. And they, they're asking for your ID. No! no, no, no. I, think, I think at some point, maybe I'm going to try to do like a dodo code thing and, and like either go to someone's island or like have people come over. But I, that'll be a, a while from now. I've got to get my island together. And uh, by the way, you you were uh, Jill at Resistance as well. You had to record uh, specific lines for Resistance, right? Mm -hmm. uh, is there any 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 of those sentences that you kind of those were so fun had a lot because, of fun recording? Yeah, obviously, you can tell like we were having a blast because a lot of those lines are some of the more like cheeky nostalgia, you know, nostalgic lines that we remember from the older game. So I definitely love some of her like, you know, master of unlocking and, and some of those just like tip of the hats to the original. I think I'm pretty sure we had a Jill sandwich line in there as well. <laughs> I haven't played as Jill yet because she is very, uh, everyone wants to play with her. Popular. So we don't have the time to pick her. And it, that sucks. <laughs> anyway, and uh, about the, the RE3 lines, do you have any, any of those lines that you still, you're still like, oh, I really like that. I would like to say that in real life. Um, yeah, she has so many good one-liners. I love seeing how, uh, I've seen a lot of comments on the internet where people really love her, like, bitch can't even swim line. <laughs> Um, it's been so funny to just see people like be stoked on that line because when we do it, you never know what lines are gonna like hit really well, especially for those in gameplay stuff. Because for the cinematics, um, you know, we did all the motion capture, we're there in person acting out all the scenes, so we kind of know, you know, really how they're gonna feel and, and what they're gonna kind of come out as. Um, but some of the gameplay stuff where you have some of those like off lines as the player goes through, you don't always know exactly where it's gonna land, and that's one of them that just lands really well. <laughs> <risos> ok. Gente, ela falou que é, pro Resistance ela gostou de todas as frases. Teve o negócio do Master of Unlocking, teve o Jill Sandwich, teve o, o do, é, do, do Chapéu, né? E, enfim, é, ela falou que gostou muito. Falei pra ela que é muito difícil jogar com a Jill, não consegui jogar com a Jill ainda no Resistance. Ó, oh, pessoal do Review, que hoje vai ter live com eles, me deixa jogar com a Jill, por favor, e com a Valerie, tá? E aí. <risos> I'm sorry, I'm speaking too fast. É, e aí ela falou que ela gostou muito da frase do Bitch can't even swim. <risos> então, quando é o Nemesis cai dentro da água lá. <risos> And, um, yeah, I, I, I would like to be a, a voiceover. Yeah, sometimes I, I get very creative. So, But I don't think I have a good voice for that. <risos> I don't know. How do you know that's true? 
you'd probably be great at it. Yeah, I, I don't know, but I we did once a uh, kind of a fan made voiceover for Are You One, oh, the so the fun. first uh, nineteen ninety six game. It was with friends, and I did Jill. I was Jill, so it was like a. Ah, eu quase fui o sanduíche da Jill. I love it. I love it. Right. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, do you have any um, any knowledge about uh, Jill's background, like when she was from Stars and uh, her friendship with the other Stars members, not just Brad, not from Red Ari Three, but also Chris Redfield and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm familiar with uh, kind of where she comes from when she starts RE3 because that was the information that was like most valuable to me when like addressing the process. But I love hearing from like you about, oh, have you thought about this relationship or that relationship? Because you hear so, you know, we love these characters because they're so fleshed out in so many ways. And there's so many people that have been excited to to like live in Raccoon City. And there's also so much fan fiction. I've been amazed at how much like uh, fan writing there's been about how everyone's related to each other as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now I have to ask, are you Team Chris or Team Carlos with Jill? <laughs> what are you, what are, what are you? <laughs> what are, what are you? <laughs> I am Chris, I am Team Chris. I have to say it. <laughs> That's fair. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to say I have to remain unbiased on this war. I'm gonna just let this war continue on social media and keep listening to both sides. And someday, maybe off in the future, I'll be like, well, team this. But for now, I'm just gonna say my love to both of them. Yeah, why why can why why do we have to change to, to choose one? Why yeah. can't we have both? <laughs> no. But anyways, um uh, Jill and Chris have their own ship. It's like Valenfield. Right. It's cute. Yeah. Super. <laughs> Gente, ó, eu, per é, eu perguntei para ela, né, se ela é Team Chris, Team Carlos, ela falou que vai deixar, né? Eu até falei, não, pega os dois logo de uma vez, né? E a gente, ela deve estar rindo na minha cara falando em português, assim, né? Tudo bem, ela não entende. E eu fico um pouco perdida. Mas ela falou que ela vê muito dessas coisas do background também com a gente, né? Então ela aprende bastante com a comunidade sobre o relacionamento com os personagens. Uh, someone was asking about you singing. Are you a singer? You know, I do sing. And I'm someone that always has some sort of song in my head. So they're referring to the fact that when I was playing my first playthrough, um, I, I tend to jump into song on occasion um, because I can't help myself. Yeah. Do you know uh, Nemesis has his own musical uh, song for Raccoon City? It's City of Stars, are you shining just for me? Okay, sorry. I was uh, pretty uh, good. I like that. I might, I'm going to be honest, I might steal that. I might actually use that when I'm playing this next playthrough on Friday. <laughs> I kind of love I'm that. flattered. Yeah, I'm a big fan. La La Land, I'm in Los Angeles too. It's perfect. City of stars, are you shining? I'll make Neil sing it. Oh, great. <laughs> this is amazing. Well, people were asking you to sing, so now, well, there it is. <laughs> there we go. Oh, you're amazing. Let me see if we have any other questions here. Well, I'm so embarrassed. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just sang a song in front of Jill's voiceover actress. What? Jesus it Christ. was fantastic. <laughs> I'm so glad that you did. <laughs> Well, anyways, let's go back to, to Ari. <laughs> well, uh, do you think Jill could be back in Ari 8? Because we don't see her uh, in the storyline since 2009. I don't know. I have no I idea. Hints? No idea. Literally zero idea. You know just as much as I do. Would I love that? Absolutely. 
I would love for Jill to come back more. Yeah, I thought maybe they would like announce a next game with her, her and Leon, both the 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 most loved characters uh, from Ari franchise. So yeah. I That's thought cool. they they were going to announce uh, Ari eight with both of them. That'd be so. Well, cool. let's see. I also love I love Nick who plays Leon. Um, so I'd love that because I'd love to work with him. He's super cool. Yeah, we did a live stream with Nick, and um, he was wearing uh, the, the Leon cosplay. His Leon yeah. cosplay is really <laughs> solid. I don't have my Jill cosplay together fully yet because we've been so stuck inside. Um, but I'm going to work on it. I want to see it. Okay. Oh, <laughs> okay. yeah. It'll happen. Uh, Gente, eu perguntei se ela sabia alguma coisa do 8, né, da Jill, de repente tá no 8, mas ela falou que não sabe de nada. Ai, Deus, ou se ela soubesse também, ela não ia falar, né, gente? Mas vai que consegue arrancar alguma coisa. De qualquer forma, a Memo is asking, have you met any other of Jill's VA? I'd love to see you all on a stream. Oh, that'd be super cool. I have not. I've never met any of the other uh, ladies who have voiced her in past games. We were pretty... Um, you know, focused and working on just this game with our cast and our team, because um, I'm pretty sure that changes out. Um, so for us, it was more, you know, the people that I met were directly related to this RE3 remake. Um, but I would love, oh, okay. to, uh, I'd love to. That'd be super fun just to be like tip of the hat to all of the awesome ladies that have come before and, and brought their own thing to who Jill Valentine is. Oh, well, okay, when you get reunited, I want to be there because I was there in, uh, yeah, I, I was Jill in... Uh, yeah, I mean, you are. You're fan also made. one of Jill's voiceover artists, so I'm already meeting one right here. What, what more do you guys want? Two Jill Yeah, we have two Jills. Right now. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, people are asking about uh, Sasha Zotova, the, the model for Jill. Have you ever talked to her? No, I haven't. That's like super, super separate. I've seen a lot of comments, but she, basically like people are a little confused, I think. Like face scan wise, when you go in for a face scan, it's like a couple hour process where you get your picture taken um, and then they're using that to like model characters. Uh, I've had that done before in, in another game. Um, and then what we came on to do was all the motion capture and voiceover work and whatever else. Um, so it happens like separately. They're kind of like, oh, this is the, you know, we've created kind of what we want the character to look like. And then we come in and bring them to life with all of the actions and acting and stuff. So I've never met Sasha. She's beautiful though. <laughs> Yeah, she is. Uh, well, she, she doesn't speak English very well, so I think she's not very accessible, maybe. Um, anyways, gente, ela falou que não conhece a Sasha, né, que é tudo separado, as coisas, e sobre os, as outras dubladoras da Jill, ela falou que também não tem, não teve contato, né, porque né, nunca teve uh, contato, mas de qualquer forma, eu falei de mim, gente, porque eu também já dublei a Jill, da licença, ela falou que se um dia forem se reunir, eu quero estar lá, porque eu já dublei a Jill. Procurem é, no canal do NGP, do New Game Plus, que eu fiz a Jill na versão do Resident Evil 1 deles, tá? <risos> uh, let me see more questions here. Oh, Caitlin is asking you to say, you want stars? I'll give you stars. Do you want <risos> stars? Because I'll give you stars. Yeah, I'm, I'm giving you stars. Jill I'm is giving, here, everyone. She's giving you stars currently. <risos> So many stars. Yeah. <laughs> um, let me see. Yes. Uh, Pequeno is asking if Sasha is the body and Nicole the face. No, 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 no. Uh, Nicole did the, the mocap and the voice. That's right? That's true. Yeah, yeah. So uh, Sa Sasha is the the image, like they modeled the character design. So basically the animators took... Sasha's likeness and they went all right we're gonna make this character look like her um, and then I came in and did the motion capture and also all of the facial performance where they put a camera on a head rig to track my movements as I speak so then that data gets used to animate the character that they've created I hope that clears it up 
there's so many yeah. amazing people involved in bringing a game like this to life and i always think that's super important to remember because there's just an incredible amount of behind the scenes work and these different teams animation and cinematics and all of this stuff that really comes together to create the final product that we all get to enjoy so i like to try and like nod heads to so many of the amazing talents that that are involved in like making the final product look awesome Yeah, ok. Gente, ela falou que, na verdade, ela, ela, é, ela fez a captura, né? E a voz também. Mas eles pegaram o rosto, né? E o, escanearam o rosto e o corpo da Sasha, né? É, a aparência, né? Assim como aconteceu com o Ben também, que eles pegam uh, o, pegaram o rosto do Carlos, depois pegaram o Jeff Shine e colocaram também, né? É, Para fazer a voz e os movimentos, né? Uh, we did a live stream uh, here on Instagram with... Um, Carlos Moro, oh, Ben so Mokhtar. Cool. Oh, very cool. That's awesome. Yeah. I He's a very that. sweet guy, so we had a lot of fun. Oh, I'm so glad. It's really great to see everyone being so excited to, to talk RE3 and, and be involved. I think that only can be positive for the games um, and everything else. <laughs> Yeah, and everyone is streaming RE3, all the models and the voiceovers, and well, it's getting competitive. How can I compete with you guys? <laughs> well, we're all just, you know what it is. We're all just stuck at home, right? We're just stuck at home. So what else are we going to do but get to like join in and enjoy? Like, honestly... I'm trying to like come up with the positive parts of being stuck inside and one of them has been I've actually had time to be so involved with the Resident Evil community once the game released um, and I don't think if I hadn't been stuck in time inside I wouldn't have had um, the amount of time that I have to be able to invest towards being excited with everyone because when we're working there's just not as much time to like sit down and do that because you know it's a full-time job to to stream and to be on social media so uh, I've had fun getting to play in your world just a little bit so that I can uh, just engage with everyone and kind of share in that enthusiasm Gente, ela falou sobre, né, que ela... Eu falei que o Ben também tá fazendo live, falei que ele tava aqui com a gente, né? Foi a última live que a gente fez, foi com o Ben, que é o modelo do Carlos. E aí ela, ela falou... Eu falei, pô, tá difícil competir com vocês, porque agora tá todo mundo fazendo live. Ela falou, porque tá todo mundo em casa, né? Mas, enfim, falei brincando, tá, gente? Eu quero mais é que, eles, que eles façam live mesmo e me convidem, inclusive. And, by the way, please invite me to your live streams. I would love to translate to Brazilian people what you guys say so, oh, so fun. here i am <laughs> oh my gosh she's so cute a gente é muito fofa a gente já tô com muita vergonha uh let me see more questions here uh people are asking you about your bees <laughs> yeah <laughs> i've seen some some stories about it so i basically have Uh, a new hive of bees in my backyard because uh, we just decided it would be something fun to do. Last year we ordered them and they come in the spring. Um, and so now we're becoming beekeepers at my house. Well, you are afraid to play RE games, but you're not afraid of taking care of bees. No, I'm not afraid to play RE games. But there's a difference between bees in real life and like yeah, they, they can and kill you. Creepy monsters jumping out at you. Okay. Well, I just hope you don't turn them into a some kind of experiment with biological weapons no or something bees. like that. No killer bees. They're gonna stay quaint. And they're gonna make lots of honey for tea. Ah. Oh. Thank you. Gente, ela tem, ela tem uma colmeia, não é a colmeia dos filmes, em casa, e ela tá cultivando abelha. Ela decidiu fazer isso e aí eu falei, mas você, não, você tem medo de jogar Resident Evil, mas não tem medo de cultivar abelha. E aí ela falou que, dá, ah, mas é diferente, né? Mas né, realmente, a abelha pode te matar, mas tudo bem. Uh, and uh, <laughs> Nemesis has joined The chat. Oh, great. Oh, oh, good. Good to know. Yeah. Okay. He's your, your buddy. It's fine. Bitch can't even type. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's 
sell yours. <laughs> Don't you like that in a stalker? No, that's okay. <risos> Gente, apareceu uma pessoa e colocou que o Nemesis entrou no chat E aí ela falou, ah, ele é todo seu eu falei, é, Ele nem consegue nem digitar né, as frases dela é que se eu traduzir fica sem graça um, Anyways, uh, let me see any more questions here um, Oh, someone asked you to say You want a Jill sandwich? I'll give you a Jill sandwich <risos> Well, like, do you want a Jill sandwich? Because, I mean, I'll I'll give you a Jill sandwich. Well, anyways. <laughs> Weird tastes, okay. <laughs> well, I would love a Jill sandwich, by the way. Hey, well, Maybe. you know, what is, what's in your Jill sandwich, Moni? That's, that's what I have to know. Like, do you, are you like a peanut butter and jelly girl? Are you... I think I'm very traditional. Mm, and I'm a celiac, so I cannot eat eat gluten. Oh, okay. So you're you're all for that gluten free Jill sandwich. Yeah, yeah. She's gluten free like, Jill sandwich. I'll take a Jill sandwich uh, as long as it's uh, gluten free. Thanks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, kind of that. I would like to have a hamburger, uh, a Jill hamburger. By the way, cheeseburger. Oh yeah, Jill cheeseburger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you gotta do it. What about yours? With honey on it? <laughs> oh, yes, with my bees. I think my Jill sandwich is slowly evolving into peanut butter, honey, and bananas. Do you remember that, like, childhood sandwich? Did you ever have that as a kid? I don't think so. No? Right, but so our good. president likes to eat bread with leite condensado. It's like condensed milk. So, well, weird tastes. I don't know, but maybe peanut butter and honeys from the bees in my backyard. Yeah, I think it's much better. Yeah. Gente, ela perguntou o que seria o meu, meu Jill sandwich favorito, e aí eu falei que ia ser um Jill cheeseburger, né? E aí eu falei pra ela se ela colocaria mel no dela, já que ela gosta de abelha. E ela falou, ah, colocava ali um, umas bananas e então tal. Eu falei, do nosso presidente, né, gente? Que gosta de comer pão com leite condensado. Nada contra, mas, né? Cada um, cada um... Enfim, uh, let me see any more questions here. Oh, someone is asking you to say the I'll give you stars in Portuguese. Oh, no. All right. Walk me through this. <sighs> let me see. My pronunciation is going to be so bad, though. So, Ooh, just got to warm up. <laughs> <laughs> let, uh, let's do the first, uh, the first part and then the second part. Love it. So first you want stars in Portuguese. Okay. Você quer stars? One more time, really slow. Você quer stars? Você quer stars? Oh, it's okay. Você quer stars? Você quer stars? Vou te dar stars. Vou te dar stars. Ah! Vou, você quer stars? Vou te dar stars. Oh, Jesus, that's exclusive! That's exclusive, everyone! I did Amazing! It. Yes! Yeah, you did it! I'm learning, <laughs> I'm learning Portuguese, one Jill Valentine line at a time. Uh, do you want to uh, learn anything else? Uh, any any other line in Portuguese? I can teach you, no problem. <laughs> No, no, we better walk away from the, the Jill Valentine lines. Otherwise, we'll get requests all night long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Everyone is loving it. And uh, yeah, because we don't have the, the opportunity to have the, um, the localization yeah. uh, of the game in Portuguese. We only have the subtitles. Oh, yeah. So we don't see people speaking, você quer stars? Eu vou te dar stars, officially speaking. Right. So, well, it's good to have that, uh, how do we say, um, representation. We feel represented. Yay! And it's good. Well, while I probably slaughtered the pronunciation, I'm glad that it's there. <laughs> Yeah, thank you, Comic Kando, for the request. Obrigado, Comic Kando, for the request. Thanks, man. And, uh, 
Thank you. <laughs> and uh, uh, Gios is asking you, how long have you been in this industry of being an actress? Yeah, um, I have been acting since I was really young. I, I had a passion and I started doing musical theater and like stage performances. And then I moved to Los Angeles about, I guess, eight or nine years ago now. Um, and I started doing film and TV stuff out here and then was very lucky to sort of discover video games and motion capture and the voiceover world, which is something I just totally fell in love with. Um, my first game was Middle Earth Shadow of War, which is the Lord of the Rings game. Um, and I had amazing people around me that, that really showed me how just creative and exciting it could be to make video games because the people involved are just so invested and excited to be there. É, ok. Gente, ela falou que ela se mudou para Los Angeles, ela começou muito cedo e ela se mudou para Los Angeles já faz tipo uns 8, 9 anos e aí ela começou a fazer coisa de, de filme e tudo mais e ela falou que fez o é, Middle Earth Shadow of War, né, que ela é a é, Idril, right? Mm -hmm. Idril. É Adriel, Adriel, Adriel. Yeah. Ela faz a Adriel, que é a personagem do, do Shadow of War. É, e vou perguntar agora, porque eu vi alguém perguntando aqui no chat sobre que outros jogos ela trabalhou. Uh, Lucas is asking you about other games you have worked on uh, besides um, RE3. So you said Shadow of War. Yeah, so Shadow of War was my first one. And then I have some others that have not been announced. So stay tuned. <laughs> Basicamente, ela fez o Shadow of War, aí ela fez a Jill, e aí ela não pode falar o resto porque não foi anunciado ainda, né, gente? Vai que tem um Resident Evil aí que ela não pode contar, né? Uh, let me see. Oh, someone asked uh, really early in the, in the chat, but I was nervous, so I forgot to ask. <laughs> About the reception with the the people, the, the, the fans, how are they treating you if uh, they're being nice to you? Yeah, it has been such an overwhelmingly warm response. I've been just blown away at how many amazing, kind comments that I've received. And it makes me want to participate and, and, you know, continue to be excited with people. And that's a dream uh, coming from a performance perspective obviously Jill means a lot to me and we put a lot into this game and everyone involved put a lot into this game so it's incredibly rewarding to have people who also really care about Jill and this franchise go I love it like it's 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 such a great iteration um, and that just makes my heart soar so I feel so grateful to all of the fans Honestly, the fans are the reason that these games can continue to be made. So everyone here is is the reason that I'm able to be here. Ó, oh, gente, ela falou que a razão de estar tá todo mundo aqui é a razão de ela de ela estar aqui também, de ela de ela fazer o que ela faz. Ela ela tá adorando a recepção com os fãs. Acho que foi a Likan que perguntou mais cedo. Ela falou que tá que tá sendo muito bom. É, e outra, né, gente? A gente está nesse período também de quarentena, então eu acho que os jogos, é, como Resident Evil acabou saindo no meio do furacão também, acaba sendo um escape para todo mundo, mesmo sendo no universo de pandemia. And not to mention that uh, our Uh, was launched well with coronavirus uh, pandemic moment and uh, we kind of feel like well it's a what if uh, perspective of the, the world and uh, I kind of recorded a video uh, using uh, examples from, from RE, uh, RE moments that uh, could reflect and uh, that we, we are seeing happening now with uh, governments uh, don't care about people and hospitals are fooled with uh, sick people and lots of uh, people not getting to believe it, it's a serious uh, disease and stuff like that. And RE teaches us a lot of things. It's not just a game. And people are always asking me about why are you so interested in the, the story of RE? And I say because it's, uh, it's very 
close to reality. And we see that now. Yeah. I think there's something about the survival horror genre that draws people for different reasons. In one regard, we look at it and we go, ooh, people, real people that we relate to in what seems to be um, just unimaginable circumstances, right? And the reason we like it is we get to see who real people become when they're faced with something that we think is unimaginable. So it's very interesting to be in this time where many people are being faced with something that they never could have imagined and kind of who they become and who we are as a species and a society and a community. It's been very interesting to kind of see where everyone's at. And I think it's super important that we do our best to stay connected and stay full of empathy and compassion for everyone around us. And uh, I, I can imagine when those, did you see, uh, did you see those memes uh, from uh, umbrella being uh, a Chinese umbrella being uh, behind the creation of coronavirus and people getting Corona saying an anagram to raccoon. No, Did you see that? No, no, no. Crazy, <laughs> crazy. I don't. I don't really. I don't really correlate the two because one I love so much and the other doesn't have my love. Well, I'm ready for the world to heal. <laughs> but it was fun and I can't imagine if you have seen it it was like January or February that people were starting to make those memes so I think maybe you were like oh my god I want to tell everyone I mean Resident Evil 3 but I can't oh look at those memes it was very very difficult to not say anything because when they announced back in December we were still not allowed to, to announce until the game came out. So I was, I was holding on to my breath as people made all these speculations, just like waiting to be like, guys, RE3! <laughs> But I'm Jill! <laughs> It's just like uh, Rachel in Friends. I'm Jill! <laughs> <laughs> right, but, but no, it's, it's more just like, I'm, I'm getting to do it now. I just wanted to get to engage with fans and people that were excited because we've been excited about it for, you know, a couple of years. <laughs> so it's really nice to finally be able to share in that enthusiasm. Gente, a gente estava conversando sobre o quanto Resident Evil é próximo da realidade, que não é só para mim, principalmente para mim não é só um jogo, por isso que eu me importo tanto com a história. E ela falou, né, que é uma, é uma coisa que a gente acaba, nesse momento, vendo o lado verdadeiro das pessoas, né? E aí eu falei dos memes lá, que o pessoal tava relacionando Corona com Raccoon e não sei o quê, aqueles memes bobo lá, que eu até já desmenti, que teve gente acreditando, inclusive. E ela falou que não viu. E eu falei, nossa, imagina se você tivesse visto isso lá para janeiro, fevereiro, e você não poder falar que você ia fazer a Jill. E ela falou que eles não podiam mesmo, quando foi anunciado. Eles estavam ainda em restrição de contrato. Uh, let me see yeah, any see more. That. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm trusting <laughs> you. I'm trusting your translations. <laughs> oh, I think I'm doing good. I'm a little nervous, so I think I'm, I'm doing good. I don't good. doubt it. I bet you're super amazing. But you could technically yeah. just say anything. And I'd be like, mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. So do you. So I, you would like to say, well, uh, life is a poetry. And I was like, well, she said she likes bees. Yeah. <laughs> um, people from Crimson Head, uh, Elder website is here. Hello, guys. I think you talked to them. You I did, did a I podcast. Did. Hello, Crimson Elder. You guys are awesome. Um, people are asking you about any DLC hints from RE3. I don't know anything. I don't know anything more than you do, I promise. I'm not even being secretive. I don't know anything more than you do, but I also would love to see more Jill Valentine in any opportunity that she might get to pop back up. Ok. Ela disse que não sabe de nada, a gente DLC. Então a gente, a gente, ela finge que não sabe e a gente finge que acredita, não é? Ela, tá vendo? ela não, não sabe o que eu tô falando, então eu posso falar o que eu quiser. Deixa eu ver se ela fala mais. Ah, isso aí ela, ela respondeu já, Ryan. Uh, deixa eu ver o que mais. 
Ah, vou perguntar aqui do Coop Geeks. Quanto tempo durou o processo de gravação? Are you there, Jill? I'm here. I'm trying to put my window down. It's like super bright. <laughs> okay. Oh, well. It's fine. I'll just leave it. The sun started like... Uh, <laughs> people are asking you about... Uh, Uh, the, the whole process, uh, how long was the, the whole process for uh, capturing and shooting uh, yeah. RE3? Yeah, I mean, I can't speak for how long the entire game took because that's something that I think they were developing in correlation with RE2 Remake and they've been, you know, working on it in some regards for many, many years. For us, we did several different motion capture shoots um, and a bunch of, a ton of voiceover work. So essentially we worked on and off the project for almost two years. I would say about a year and a half. Um, so, you know, that's kind of standard for games to like work over a super long period of time because there's, there's so much involved. Um, so yeah, we worked on and off for about that um, long. And then you wait and you hear back and they add stuff and you come back and it's very fun. <laughs> Did you have to go to Japan to do it or was made... Uh, oh, you had to Japan. I was in Japan. Yeah, we all were uh, for uh, much of the initial uh, motion capture. Yeah, I... because it was done before in, in LA, I think. Just Cause Productions used to, to work on the cinematics before. For this one, we were able that. to go to Japan, which I personally love because I just love Japan. I always say, if you have the chance to go to Japan, go. It is an amazing culture, an amazing uh, cuisine, and really just a super cool people. I think one of my favorite parts of working on this project was getting to work with the Japanese team and getting to work in a, in a space that's very bilingual, right? We're using translators all the time um, to kind of come together. It's super cool how people that speak different languages really can come together and understand each other when they have a shared vision. Gente, ela foi para o Japão fazer, falou que levou umas, uns dois anos, né, para fazer todo o processo. E ela falou que foi para o Japão fazer, né? I was going to Japan. This year. Oh no. I hope you reschedule. Oh, March. Oh no. <sighs> yeah. You would have gotten to see the cherry blossoms. They started. Yeah, late, I was going to. I would do Hanami. It's a it's a picnic to see the cherry blo cherry blossoms, and I'm. This is a very sensitive... Uh... I don't... Yeah, I don't doubt it. I would like to go back when I see the cherry blossoms. I, when I went last, I came home right before they started blooming, and it was devastating. And um, since you were in, in, uh, in Japan, uh, have you met any of the producers of the game, Masashika Kawata or Mr. Peter Fabiano? Were they on the set? We meet all kinds of different people um, and there's so many different teams involved that I don't, I don't necessarily think I'm going to disclose like their kind of inner workings because it's not my place, but we meet lots of different people and there's so many amazing teams and talents that are involved, many of which you never even know their names unless you sit and watch the credits. So I will go ahead and turn this into an opportunity to say, always watch the credits of games. It's uh, very respectful to so many people that are involved. I not I haven't just watched. I cried with the 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 new version of RE3 ending credits theme. Yeah, it's so cute and one of my favorite songs. So I was in tears and Aww. I had to put on the maximum volume and I was like, oh my god, look at my hair! Blast it as you're flying away. <laughs> so. It's amazing. It was amazing. And uh, let me see more, um, okay, more questions. I'm going to fix my window. I'll okay. stay here, but I gotta fix my window. It's driving me crazy. No problem. <risos> gente, mandem perguntas aí. A gente tem mais alguns minutos, né? Porque daqui a pouco começa a contagem regressiva. Eu nem sei que horas são agora, então a gente tem uma hora só de live aqui no Instagram, né? 
Então, mandem perguntinhas aí. Ela tá abrindo a janela, gente. Boa pergunta, Eduardo. Vou mandar para ela. There we go. All right, I'm back. Um, Eduardo is asking you about what, what is she thinking about streaming? What am, what am I what? What's the question? Uh, what, what are you thinking about streaming Ari Games? Uh, you're becoming a streamer. <laughs> like, am I enjoying it? Yeah. Think, yeah, I'm having so much fun. Well, we'll see. I'm, I'm just playing it one stream at a time right now. Um, on Friday, coming up, I have Neil Newbon, who plays Nemesis, and Nikolai, who's going to stream with me. And that's going to be a fun uh, day, because he is a ball of energy and uh, a very, very close friend at this point. So I'm very excited to, like, get to bring some of the other castmates on to, to play it together. Because we, if you think about it, we didn't get to really celebrate together at all once it released, because we were all already in quarantine. So this is our way as well to be like, cheers, guys, it's out. <laughs> yeah, uh, someone is asking you, by the way, to say stay home uh, in English and in Portuguese. Stay home, uh, like Jill asking, asking people to stay home, everyone. Well, I just Something feel like that, that way in general, so I'll just say it as Nicole. Nicole tells you to stay home. And now I'll say in Portuguese. <laughs> I'm going to see nope. the last nope. no, the last sentence in Portuguese. Come on, it's important. Okay, what's the, what is it in Portuguese? Fica em casa. See, here's the thing. I, I should probably look this up because what if that's not actually? <laughs> I'm kidding. One more time. Fica em casa. Fica em casa. Thank you so much. I would never, never mock you with something like that. Thank you. I Maybe other stuff, not <laughs> that. Right. And by the way, I'm, I'm inviting myself uh, to help you with your, your live stream with Neil, if you want me to moderate for Brazilian people. Yeah, totally. Do, I can stick you on as like a mod, right? Yeah, yeah please. Me. We'll figure that out. I have Sphere Hunter who is uh, gonna moderate vocally to help tell Neil and I uh, what chat is saying. Because I realized from my first stream, I'm like playing and I had such a hard time picking up the questions as they came. So Sphere Hunter is gonna get in there and um, just like help vocally tell us like, oh, so-and-so is asking this. So I would love to have you on there to help our amazing Brazilian fan base um, also really enjoy the stream. Uh, it's, uh, it's May 8th. The, yeah. No. Yeah, May 8th. Yeah, Friday. This, this Friday. Friday. This, this Friday. Friday. Ok. Uh, gente, ela vai fazer uma live com o dublador do Nicolai uh, nessa sexta-feira. Depois eu vou pegar o horário, vou passar direitinho para vocês. Eu já me ofereci para fazer a moderação lá para os Brazuca, beleza, gente? Um, e, and last question now. Last one, because we have only a few minutes, because of Instagram, it gives you on, only. One hour. So uh, we have. Uh, do you speak any other language besides English? I speak a little bit of um, American Sign Language, like actually signing, because my parents uh, both are fluent in ASL. Um, and so I grew up doing that, but I'm not great. And then as far as actually other languages that are uh, uh, spoken languages, I definitely took several years of Spanish, but could not say that I'm fluent at all. So I'm going to just take ownership over English, and I can't even say I'm all that good at English. <laughs> uh, so you, you mean you, you know the, 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 the deaf uh, language? A little bit really? of sign language, yeah. Just, just a little. Yeah, I have a, a cousin from my husband that she is deaf, and... Um, I'm trying to learn uh, oh, the languages great. so I can talk to her and uh, speak something for us just to, to finish it. Okay. I don't know, send a message. You are learning to sign. Oh, it's so cute. Then, okay. We love you. <laughs> I also just want to say thank you so much for having me come on and say hello. Um, as I already have said before, it's 
just such a joy to get to interact with everyone and really stay connected because this is like such a good time just in the world as well to try and connect with each other and hopefully spread a little bit of positivity, which is all I'm ever here to do. So thank you. I really, really appreciate it to both you for hosting me and then all of the amazing fans that came along. I want to thank you because this is part of my project for people to stay home. So I'm doing my best to keep people home and thank you so much for uh, helping me uh, on that. Uh, and uh, I'm a very big Jill fan since 1997. So it's really important for me. And I'm asking people to send hearts for you. Gente, mande corações para a Nicole, por favor, mandem corações para ela no chat. E ela mandou isso aqui, ó, que significa eu amo você em Libras, porque ela falou que ela fala, né, um pouco, né? Então, ela... E eu tenho uma prima, né, que, que é, é, é prima do Matheus, né, do meu marido, então a gente tá querendo aprender. Thank you so much, Nicole. We love you. Please come to Brazil as soon as you can. I would love to. Lots of love to you guys. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Beijo. Bye, beijo. Tchau, tchau.